Hey, what is up guys? Gita Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, today's video we're going to talk about the next counter pass. Alright, since our current one is going to end soon. And I think by now, we can all pretty much predict who is coming next. Because if you look at the amount of mates that we have available to pull, we have Veronica, we have Monet, we have Lycoris, but somebody is missing. So that last mate, Lily, should be in the next battle pass. I mean... It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious, I would say, by now. So I think many players have predicted she's going to be the next one. As you can see, our current one is going to end in two days, right? So once our current one ends in two days, the new battle pass is going to come in, it's going to slide in, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be Lily's battle pass. So let's talk about Lele. Okay, so as you can see, Lily, if you have fought her before in the... Um, what is that? One of the stages? The mid stages, the harder one. She's a supporter. Three cost supporter. She can hit all. And she has one costume coming in the future. This looks pretty good. She has, uh, you know, taking the camera, vacation, selfie, etc. So stats wise, she's not that impressive. 31,000 HP, 2.8k attack. And the rest, pretty low. Evasion is almost 1,000 though. So there is that. So, um, just to give you guys a context, what is Lily's roles in general? She basically has a debuff that allows her to basically sleep the enemy for I think 7 to 10 seconds depending on the skill level. So most of the time, if you use Lily, you're gonna be using her for sleeping. Where she shines the most is basically in that particular skill, which is her special skill, it's not even her ultimate. Her ultimate apparently doesn't do much, so let me grab some enemies, some units. So you can see, so we're gonna throw, and then they're gonna fall asleep. Are they falling asleep? Special skill? Okay, so as you can see, this flying unit is falling asleep. Snoring, snoring, snoring for 10 seconds. So this can actually be really good, it can be really um, destructive in PvP, if you think about it, right? So. In PvP, I can see this being like a game changer. Alright, it can basically make you win or lose your games. So let's briefly look at Lily's skill. Uh, in terms of the basic skill, nothing special. Valley hit of 1. Passive skill. So this one is pretty interesting. Every time her HP decreases by 25%, she basically throws a smoke bomb. Uh, she also inflicts a damage and she jumps backwards, right? And this smoke screen lasts for 5 seconds. Movement speed and accuracy for all the enemy in the area will be reduced by 60%. Alright, pretty good. And as you can see at skill level 5, she have her evasion up to 6 seconds. Max evasion for 6 seconds after she dodge. So every time she one, one quarter of her HP goes down, she will always activate this passive skill. Now the special skill like I mentioned, she will basically throw grenade to the furthest target, not the nearest target but the furthest target, meaning the back line usually. Alright. And enemy will sleep for 7 seconds. Maybe some operator can negate this, right? To basically uh, be immune to this in a way. But yeah, at skill level 5, the duration goes up to 10 seconds. 10 seconds sleep, pretty game changing. <laughs> Ultimate skill though, basically she just throw a special granite. And the damage target will inflict uh, damage to its opponent's unit for 12 seconds. Alright, so the ultimate is nothing impressive. Basically what it does is, uh, it basically targets hit by the ultimate. This skill right here. They will not have a roll advantage bonus for 12 seconds if I'm not mistaken. 10 to 12 seconds. Alright, that's about it. So it's... I'm not sure though, it's so niche. It's really really niche. I feel like instead of removing enemies roll advantage, I'm thinking of a, like a PvE s a scenario, right? Why not improve your own roll advantage by using Sigma or something in PvE? I, I, don't, I don't see her roll at all in PvE. Like, if you are buying her battle pass or her counter pass, Make sure you guys are someone that enjoys PvP because I think she's going to be much more of a PvP unit. Alright, think of her in a way of... Who would be a best example? Oh yes, Harap. Think of her as a Harap. Alright, Harap is really strong, right? Game changing. Harap can basically... You know, one whip from Harap can turn the tide of the battle. Basically, depending on what the enemy is running. If you're stealing Yuna's uh, Relic, you can basically win from that. If you're stealing a bunch of soldiers, you can also win from that, right? So I think Lily has that similar kind of firepower to her in terms of changing the entire battle, turning it around towards her favor, right? Because she can just slip the enemy. You focus on their defenders first, you kill them first, you know? And then you focus on the back line later. So that is something that is just invaluable for sure. But in PvE, 
you probably will not use Lily in any situation. Uh, I'm not saying that she's unusable, it's just that you're better off using someone else that gives more utility in PvE. Same like Harap, you don't really use Harap in PvE. Uh, you use her in PvP a lot, she's really really strong, but in PvE, um, I doubt you'll have any use for them. So that pretty much concludes my thoughts on Lily. Only buy her if you focus on PvP. If you care about buying and collecting and stuff, sure go ahead, right? But for, you know, some of you guys who are like more budget conscious, you're thinking if this is a counterpass worth getting, it's going to be, again, similar to Harap. If you don't play PvP a ton, it might be a waste to just buy the counterpass just for a character that... Not to mention that perhaps uh, there's a rumor that the after Lily, the next counterpass might be Replacer King. So that's something that I think a lot of players might want to save towards because Replacer King's uh, counterpass might be more expensive being an Awakened unit. So it is more expensive as far as I know in... I forgot, was it in KR or in Taiwan? One, one of the one of those, all right? So if you are someone that, you know, you are not filthy rich, you might want to consider skipping this, saving that admin coins for the next counterpass instead. Personally, I'm going to buy Lily because I do play PvP a lot and I can see her fitting into my roster. But yeah, we'll see how impactful she is in any of the, you know, upcoming meta with more Awakened units coming soon and stuff. All right, so with that being said, if you haven't already, Subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.